What kind of apple did you get? Chocolate Delta. <laughs> Well, this life and mammal, we are here at Homestead Holla for their fall event. Hot boiled peanuts, drinks. Put the vendors down through there. My goodness. Got the wood cutouts. Belts and stuff over there. You think I know car? Let's walk over here. Those are hickory nuts. Do you not, not know what hickory nuts are? The hickory nuts. Well, I'm over the roots of this tree. It says do not cut touch do not touch car. I think if you touch this car it might fall apart, so I'm not gonna touch it. We've got some moonshine dark stars up in the back of it. Looks like it's seen better days. You know, I'd get a little bit to a squirrel and it'd run up a tree and make it realize that the tree wasn't there. Tell me what's going on with this steel. Well, what I do is I come out about a week ahead of time and we mix these barrels with water, sugar, yeast, and corn. And as the uh, as these barrels uh, ferment, that becomes the mash. And so uh, once the uh, once the mash is uh, uh, fermented and ready to go, then I pour it into that pot. I heat that pot up to 170 to 175 degrees. Once I heat that up, the vapor starts rising out of the mash. The vapor is the actual alcohol that's cooking out of it. As, I, uh, as that cooks out, the vapor rises through the chimney and goes down the copper pipe called the worm. It recondenses back into a liquid, and that's the moonshine that comes out the other end. So it goes from a liquid state to a gas state and then back to a liquid. Okay. We're here by the moonshine steel. <laughs> Pretty it. These people do not believe taking in their laundry when guests are coming. Pretty moms. Dead. got a table like that. This is the Granny Nolan cabin. Original Granny Nolan cabin. Of course they didn't have power. That would have been a kerosene lamp. Place over here so it stayed warm. Oh, they didn't they had the front porch. That's the original front porch. Uh, Come here. Let's walk down to the creek. Got a good bit of water in it. Birds over there. Their general store. Let's go into the general store, see what's going on. I think they're just doing fried pies and fried pies. Yeah. <laughs> so we got sell fries and cornmeal. Some jar of goods. We got grits, we got yellow grits. Some whole wheat flour. So we're gonna walk back through the vendors. I had a sample of the medium cheese straws. I had a little bit of a kick at the end of it. Pies. 
thinking about a fried pie. I'm gonna go over here and get some lemonade. Ooh, look at that line. So we're in line for the pork skins, the kettle cooked pork skins. Got my big iced tea. Going on a wagon ride. The water wheel with some fall decoration. We'll walk over and see if they're making flour or anything. Grinding corn or anything. The petting zoo over there. A vegetable stand. Bunch of pumpkins. The pumpkins there. Perfect places for pictures. Ugly. Risk meal. Looks like fall on this side of the creek. Merry Christmas. It's meal. Let's go and see if it's turning. Got all your canned products and your picked vegetables, your moonshine stored up for the winter or kept cool in the summer. We have to, we have to adjust. He had no problem saying that honey was good for this, this. I said, would you put that in a letter? But he never would put it. We've had a really good time out here at Homestead Hollow at their Arts and Crafts event this fall. I'd like to say a special thanks to all my subscribers and the new subscribers. Thanks. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And after you subscribe, click on the bell so you'll receive notifications when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time.